Hello and welcome to Bottom Line. Well, the brew issue in Tripura is back in news again. The Joint Movement Committee, a group of, uh, a group of uh, civil society bodies and organizations, withdrew their indefinite strike in Kanchanpur uh, after they attended a meeting with a team of ministers, including the chief minister and the deputy chief minister, over resettlement of the brew migrants in North Tripura. Uh, well, earlier yesterday, the forum had announced suspension of the strike uh, on its ninth day after receiving an invitation from the government to resolve the issue peacefully. The Joint Movement Committee now seems satisfied with the government's assurance as far as resettlement of uh, the, 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 the brews are concerned in Tripura. But the question here is that, is this the beginning of yet another delay in resolving the matter, that is settling the brew migrants? It's already January to November, almost a year gone by nothing concrete has materialized almost a year after the center Mizoram government the Tripura government and other stakeholders agreed that uh, the over 30,000 brew uh, migrants will be settled in in Tripura and what happened in North Tripura what happened in Kanchanpur uh, last week was rather unfortunate and has has in a way opened yet another Pandora's box that might as well delay that might as well delay the settlement the resettlement of the brew migrants once again to discuss on this matter uh, today, I am being joined uh, by an esteemed group of panelists. I am being joined from Tripura by Mr. Mevar Kumar Chamatia, the State Forest and Tribal Welfare Minister. Welcome, sir, to Bottom Line. Pradyut Dev Burman, Royal Sign Maharaja Tripura, also joins me uh, live. Pabit Trokar, CPIM leader, uh, joins me from Agartala. I am also being joined by Pijush Kanti Biswas, uh, the, the Tripura uh, Congress uh, President. and. Uh, and Zay Pachuao, uh, the chairman of uh, the JMC, uh, is, is, is also joining me uh, in this show. If I can go straight uh, to Mr. Zamatia, uh, Mevar Kumar Zamatia. Well, uh, so the government has, uh, has had a discussion with the Joint Movement Committee. They seem satisfied with the assurance and now the protest has, of course, come to an end for now. Can we hope things to streamline now from here on as far as the brew resettlement issue is concerned? Well, uh, as you all know, that the BGP IPP government in Tripura, from the very beginning, we have uh, committed to solve the issues of uh, crisis of uh, brood young uh, displaced people. This is our commitment, and also we have uh, already we have uh, understanding with the central government. Mizoram government and Tripura government. We are committed to solve their crisis. And of course, the, there are some issues, some, are some uh, problem going on. Uh, but this issue, I think, is not very serious. There are misunderstanding among the uh, public. And uh, there are some uh, organizations came up, like uh, Nagarim Moncho and Music Convention. But actually, there are some rumors, some, some misunderstanding, misinformation uh, they have received. But again, again, we say uh, this long crisis, the around uh, 25 years uh, uh, refugee problem, the crisis should be solved for, for once and for all. This is a commitment. And uh, as a forest minister and a tribal welfare minister, we always concern about the people, and uh, as I said also, our civil service declared, uh, this is a government report, I know very well, because I moved the file. We try to uh, distribute uh, in six districts. That is what we have already uh, moved the file, is committed. And all, uh, around the... Uh, 30,000, something like that, the population yeah. should be distributed in all the six districts. This is our commitment. But here, uh, what I want to say is see, the long issue spending is not uh, done by the previous government, like the left from government, for the last 25 years. They have they are ruling in, in our state, but they are not interested and they are not trying to solve the problem. And in between now, we found that those are instigating some of the uh, uh, political party 
especially we we know we have already got the information that some the especially left from the communist party are behind uh, this movement we have uh, only identified some of them and our government is uh, do not want to uh, disturb anybody and we don't want to uh, take any sentiment we respect all the sentiment we respect the sentiment of the, of the uh, bengali people we respect the sentiment of the muslim Miju people and so, also we respect so you are saying you are people. saying so balancing all this matter our, we are trying to solve the problem and hopefully uh, now our government is taking initiative not to hurt any sentiment or, or any community so mr zamatia mr zamatia this, uh, mr zamatia you are saying if 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 i heard you right mr zamatia you are saying that uh, uh, the, the 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 there can be a congress role to the protest there can be an opposition role to the protest maybe maybe somebody has 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 instigated some of the some of the protesters is that what you are saying mr zamatia obviously obviously we are all suspecting them and uh, as you know the cpm the long 25 years they are not trying to solve the problem they are not trying to uh, take interest so now our government new government within one year we try to solve them we, we, we are taking the interest there is the drawback for them now they they feel the, the, the what to say the people have already thinking that this is because of the, the narrow political interest the left from government is not not trying to solve this problem so that is what they they now they rejected by the people because now people realize that uh, now every people realize that yes this uh, guru young uh, crisis should be solved once for for all permanent solution should be there and so we agreed our government also agreed that yes we go to rehabilitate them in different part of the state and the government also going to uh, give some package so we have three type of talks like the central government and the state government uh, both uh, mizoram and tripura are agreed to coordinate to help each other so there are no problem actually but only thing is there are some section of people who are misled or they not understand clearly what what we going to do but our government is very clear with transparency Uh, this is also our same also all you know six districts to be divided so there no problem and also there are a lot of uh, the has has a minister of forest we have some problem of of the land also so because we all, there are some issues of uh, uh, land diversion is, is required and we have to get permission also from the uh, forest department we have to send a proposal to the shillong to send a proposal to delhi so there are lot of uh, this thing technically there some problem do first of all land should be available because there are a lot of land required because around 30000 1000 people are there so to accommodate them we cannot just accommodate anywhere we have to find out the space also first of all but this this problem i do not understand by the people actually so this is the some difficulties and common people are not realizing and we say i'm forest minister but all land is belong to forest but we try to accommodate them in, in the forest land but for he has you know forest land is not easy to divert, divert not it is to give very easily there are lot of technical problem lot of uh, point taken point follow. taken uh, so pradyut dev barman pradyut dev barman pradyut dev barman well this this doesn't seem as simple as you know just a simple law and order situation or case of some people being misled the protests have been garnering support for some time probably the government was also in a way caught unawares on the 6th day on the 7th day the violence the 6th day the violence took place so things are not as simple probably as the government is trying to make it uh, and clearly clearly uh, it's already november and uh, maybe we are staring at further delay as far as uh, resolving this issue is concerned uh first of all navarun let me give you context there is a uh, uh, there is a lot of back end politics which is being played here these are the same people who have protested against the settlement of uh, bruce i'm not talking about the mizo convention i'm talking about the nagrik suraksha manch these are the same people who actually burst uh, crackers when citizenship amendment act was passed last year in december 
these are the same people which hailed the government of India decision to settle uh, 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 displaced Hindus from Bangladesh into uh, to uh, India and they celebrated it. So they were on the side of BJP last year. This year they are protesting against the decision of the central government to rehabilitate young people. First of all, they are not refugees, they are internally displaced people. Refugee is a term used for people who are not from the country. Uh, now what's happened is, I think that the government uh, should have seen that there are various players. I'm very happy to see uh, Mewar Jamatia, he's uh, an ally of the, IP, uh, of the BJP government in the state, who was also there when the uh, accord was signed. Uh, Pijush Kanti Biswas is a very senior advocate and a Congress president. He also is very well aware. And uh, we have uh, uh, Pabitra Babu, uh, who is a very uh, reasonable uh, politician from the Communist Party. Let me say one thing very clearly. The entire politics in uh, Kanchanpur and North Tripura is about ensuring that a certain vote bank is protected and a certain vote bank is not kept in that area. First of all, there was never a plan to settle 30,000 brew people in one subdivision. It was an absolute lie. Fake news was spread by people who are in the Congress, who are uh, maybe not for long if Pijush Babu has it because I'm sure he does not want such people in the Congress. Uh, there were people in the Communist Party who uh, used this and there are members who are in the BJP who have also used this because in Tripura they have tried to polarize the situation into a indigenous people versus Bengali uh, conflict and in a certain degree with the Mizos. The fact is that nobody has read the Riot Act. There was never a proposal to settle all the brews in Kanchanpur and only I think less than, uh, I think about a 1% of the uh, people are going to be rehabilitated around that area and the remaining was across six districts. But there are elements which want to polarize uh, politics in Tripura because ADC elections is up ahead and they want to play this uh, tribal non-tribal card. It's very unfortunate but I'm very happy that uh, the government of India has given a commitment. I'm a signatory in that accord and we will make sure that the Brew people are rehabilitated in the state of Tripura, not necessary in one area, but across the state in clusters so that their culture, identity and uh, traditions are well maintained. All right. Uh, if, if and there is no going back from that. There is no going back from that. Point taken, absolutely. If you can go to uh, uh, Mr. Pachau, Mr. Pachuao, uh, who is uh, joining us, uh, also the chairman of the JMC, Mr. Pachuao. Uh, well, what were the primary fears that, uh, that, that led uh, the JMC to start the strike in the first place uh, since the government was taking care of all aspects before taking a decision? Uh, what prompted you uh, to launch uh, the, the, the agitation? Yes, you know that the Mizoram rural settlement uh, issue has been a long, long pending issue. A lot of repeated uh, repetition failures to Mizoram. So uh, it's now that uh, the government has decided to settle them in North, uh, in, in Tripura, uh, as part of agreement signed in 16 January 2020. Then, as you know, the place where they are currently camping here is in North Tripura, in Kanchanpur subdivision, and few in Palisagar subdivision. And Kanchanpur subdivision has got uh, already a huge population and limited uh, space of lands. And also we have this central catchment reserve forest that has been protected uh, for centuries. And also we have Malichalinta reserve forest. And you know, this is where the only hill station of Tripura, that is uh, where I'm staying now, currently in Zambui Hills is located. So this is very delicate ecology and environment. and. As part of the government's uh, uh, plan, there is a majority of the rural migrants from Mizoram are, uh, are, are planned to be settled here in North District. That is, 80% of uh, the people are planned to be settled here in North District and in contemporary subdivision, many in contemporary subdivision. With an already fragile ecology, it's uh, an issue about land, environment, ecology, and also demographic uh, uh, balance. Social cohesion per town is going to be negatively affected. 
and all these other fears that people have if there is a mass resettlement of Mizoram refugees. But but didn't didn't the government didn't the government uh, take the people of the area into confidence uh, before taking such a decision, uh, Mr. Pachwa? Uh, Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Dev has re has repeatedly mentioned that the that the, that after the incident, the violent incident that took place last Saturday, that there are several rumours that have led to the agitation. Not everyone is being uh, uh, settled in the area. It will be spread across six districts in the state. So, what was the fear all about? You know, this uh, concern about uh, the blue settlement in Tripura, uh, in North, North District, Kanchan Blue is already raised uh, when the BJP came to power in 2018, March, uh, here in Tripura. And at that time, it was not yet decided that it would, they would permanently settle here in Tripura. Already, we are anticipating that that's likely to be the case. So, Mizo Convention, well in advance, already uh, uh, advised the government or actually gives suggestions to the government had they ever been to be settled here in Tripura, it should not be in places where the Mizo's natives and the Bengali are, set, uh, are, 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 are staying, and where they are currently staying. Because, you know, there are past uh, historical. Uh, conflicts or hostilities against uh, the, the Mizos, against the Bengalis that are being uh, directed to a by the migrants. You know, this is a situation that we have ex been experiencing over the last 23 years. And the very fact that the reason why they migrated to Tripura here uh, is because of the communal class that uh, Mizoram, Mizoram people of Mizoram and the blue migrants had in 1997. So all the angers and uh, attitude of revenge uh, are directed towards the Mizos staying here in Zambulu. So we have suffered a lot and also possibilities still passes. So we feel that if they are settled here, it will not be good. It will not, the settlement will not be successful. Yes, our Honorable Chief Minister was partially right when he said uh, there are rumors uh, surrounding this settlement program. But uh, in spite of that, there are also some facts that are actually being happening, like uh, the administration repeatedly uh, uh, attempted to, to, to settle this majority of the blue migrants here in Kanchanpur subdivision. These are all confirmed by government memos that are at our, at, at, at our disposal. So it's not just a rumor. There are some concrete examples. Not just a rumor you're saying information um, is at your disposal, but the administration has been trying to settle counter more counter people that is what like submissions of memo meeting the heads of states and also uh, before well before this uh, big demonstration that has just happened we had uh, repeated uh, uh, demonstrations like uh, relay hunger strike for weeks and also mass demonstration which all of which were peaceful so this time the situation is so tense that it's and the government's adamant attitude and insensitive attitude towards the uh, interests of the Bengalis and the Muslims here is... Nabarun, uh, can I come here? Yeah, Pradeep Debarman wants to make a... Pradeep Debarman wants to make a point. Uh, Mr. Debarman, it seems, uh, well, there is some confusion somewhere, definitely. Uh, and uh, the Chief Minister, of course, have, has called it rumours, but uh, people, locals believe, well, all of it is not a rumour. There is some confusion somewhere, maybe. So, confusion leads to misinformation, which is rumor. I mean, that is normal English, right? Now, can I say something? When they, the state government has to accept some responsibility because section 144 was in place. When section 144 in, is in place, you cannot have more than four people in assembly. When you have thousands and thousands of people coming out for uh, days after day, there is a failure in law and order. Now, it is up for the district administration and the state government to tell the people that people are not going to be settled in one subdivision. If that is not being articulated well, that is a matter that they have to take it up with the government. But to go and on a rampage and kill and, and bludgeon a, 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 a official who works in the fire brigade simply based on the video evidence that we have seen on his ethnicity is a murder. Now, if there is any grievances, please take it up with the government of the state. Why do you have to take it out on a particular ethnic indigenous community? Now, let me be very clear. 
nobody is trying to say that the government is not should have handled this situation better i completely agree in fact uh, pijush uh, biswas who's the uh, congress representative here is a very senior advocate he will tell you the law that section 144 was violated once a law is violated by uh, uh, activist action should be taken to ensure that there is no further violation the state government allowed this uh, agitation to fester and obviously mishandled it to a extent when police firing was resorted to but that does not change the fact that there are political elements across certain parties which wanted to use this to benefit with their eye on an upcoming edc election and polarize tripura tripura has had a very uh, 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 a very sensitive past between violence between indigenous people and the uh, non tribal people and this was a definitely an attempt by people to break down law and order and they have succeeded in a certain degree of course all of us have shown restraint and ensured that there is uh, stability there right now but this is definitely something no one can absolve themselves from i think dr pachao speaks for the mizo people i have i understand his sentiment but i think nagrik suraksha manch which is an entirely separate body which is a part of this joint action uh, uh, committee also should answer on and we have proof how they killed that man on the streets simply because he happened to be a tiprasa i think that is unacceptable an investigation took place should take place and those people who are in the video should be arrested and these people who are inciting hate speech i'm not talking about the mizo convention here i'm talking about the nagrik suraksha manch should be dealt with firmly well uh, if 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 we can go to mr pijush biswas uh, well well the, the 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 government the minister uh, is is accusing the congress uh, and also to an extent the cpim of uh, of uh, instigating some of the protests uh, mr biswas uh, what do you have to say on this mr 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 uh, mr zamatia is here he, he he thinks the congress and the cpim had definitely had a role also to play in this protest Pijush, if yes, yes, if 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 I can go to Mr. Pijush Kanti Biswas of the Congress, if you can hear me, Mr. Biswas. Congress has no role in this episode. This is all nonsense speech. Wild allegations. Situation they have created that is the imm immature. decision lack of knowledge of the government and their incompetence they are now blaming others these people i are agitating this demand for a long time and that is for 7 8 days there was complete bond government was not responding was not giving any importance practically this government has no competence to foresee the result of their decision they took the decision keeping everybody in dark they said they should have taken into confidence all the stakeholders had there been any such uh, decision keeping the stakeholders with them situation what is now prevailing in tripura today that would not have happened now government did not do do so either for political mindedness or due to ignorance and competence lack of confidence now you kindly see what type of government is going on here few days back hello Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Few days back, Chief Minister or not, but Chief Minister 
made a statement to the press that the people who died due to COVID-19, they will be compensated at the rupees of 10 lakhs. Well, let's, let's stick... And a let's stick. General appearing in the High Court says that Chief Minister's statement cannot be treated as a decision of the government. It has got no value. Now, you see, yesterday there was a meeting with the uh, leaders of the movement where after that our law minister met with the press he stated that government has not taken any such decision for uh, for rehabilitation of these people in Kansulpur area but government DM district magistrate and collector of that area has already notified that 5,000 displaced young persons, they will be settled at Kanchanpur and the area has also been mentioned in the notification. Now DM is saying something, law minister is saying that there is no decision, there is no such decision for government. So they are creating this atmosphere of doubt. They should have, they should be careful to maintain the communal harmony among the uh, between different communities particularly tipura suffered a lot earlier also point taken point and taken point taken we'll have to go for a very short break here we'll have to go for no. a very short break here break here but uh, stay on stay on we we will still we are still to get the first reactions from mr pavitra kaur of the cpim stay on very short break Welcome back. You're watching Bottom Line. We're discussing the brew resettlement row in Tripura. If I can go back to Mr. Mevar Kumar Jamatia, the minister from Tripura. So finding a suitable land, as you mentioned, finding a suitable land for a sizable population is not easy. What the JMC, the JMC is saying is that they they are aware that brews will will be resettled in as many as six districts of the state and not just North, North Tripura. But what they're saying is that there are there's information a sizable number a sizable uh, part of the population a big chunk will be accommodate will be uh, resettled will be accommodated in north tripura that is their concern they feel it may disturb the quote unquote ecosystem in the area and uh, as there have been uh, quote unquote again past ethnic clashes to an extent that's why that's why they are apprehensive if it is equally distributed uh, the resettlement then then probably they would not have a problem so is the government considering that if at all that was a part of your plan see uh, as i told you we have to consider all the sentiment like there are mezu sentiment bengali sentiment and the gururian sentiment and tribal sentiment considering all these things we're, we're looking after see this is not easy task of course but we're trying to find out some solution and we're trying to find out the space so it common people may say many things but see has a, has a minister of forest and tribal affairs or as a leader of the of my state i understand i i know the the difficulties i know the sentiment of the people but it is not uh, easy task actually what i i i try to explain but that you considering all this matter that's why we are trying to discuss with the local uh, people also we are trying to discuss with the uh, the common people maybe over the nagari mancho music convention and also have to discuss with the, the guru people so all this uh, group we have to discuss with them we have already discussed also with them but they are I think the, there will be some solution will take place. I think they will understand also. We will not disturb anybody. And because, as you say, there are some uh, ecological problems, there are some maybe. But all these things will look up there. That's why we are carefully, very carefully, we are moving ahead. But some of the section people misled up this thing and uh, misinformation uh, there is. So these are the some problems. But I request the right thinking citizen, the intellectual, they will understand. Because, see, we are giving them in the in the land also it is in the forest land as well as and castle and forest land mostly forest land 
on the scene this area but also see this the this uh, buru riang disabled people also we cannot just throw them in over na there will be some road side there will be some some water available there will be road available so how can they survive in the future that thing also look after na we cannot just give throw them in the far flung area in the hill area where there is no communication there is no current there is no water so all these things have to look after communication system water will be available or not there electricity will be available or not there they are accessible or not with the market all these things have to look after a lot of things a lot of so things have to be have to be taken into careful. account uh, mr pavitrakor mr pavitrakor uh, what do you have to say as an opposition leader uh, about the government's handling of this entire Uh, if I can call it anti-Bru settlement agitation, do you think there was a scope to handle it much, much better uh, than the way the government did, Mr. Kaur? Of course, this government is practically dealing this matter uh, only simple way, but it is not this uh, easy to uh, to deal it with a simple way. Uh, practically, uh, the Bru came here in the year 1993, most probably. And uh, left front at that time is in power. Uh, we practically allow them. They have come. They lost their all belongings and land, etc., to uh, Mizoram. There is an ethnic problem between the two tribes there. After that, we allow them. They come and we give all support to them for their livelihood. After that, we take up this matter with the government of India. Uh, government of India. Uh, after this long period, they have done this, but for the human being, we uh, help them in this way. And all time, it is the problem of Mizoram. They come here, and we pressure on the government of India. The Mizoram government should take up all all of them to their land to, uh, and give the uh, settlement to there. It is the fact. But uh, government of uh, India failed to convince the Mizoram government to do this. This time also, some refugee has gone back to also by the help of the center and Mizoram government taken up this. But after that, they hold it and some problems with the their. Uh, 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 local people also, they are not uh, the Miju refugee peoples. They are not willing to go there. For that. Uh, no, that is okay. That we that that history uh, yeah, we, we 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 are aware of that, uh, Mr. Pavitrakar. My next question to you: uh, the protest the protest uh, was taking place for some time. Do you think the government? Also, did not anticipate the violence, or or did not properly reach out to the sections. In this case, the JMC, which includes the Nagorik Moncho, uh, which was protesting against the resettlement. Uh, do you think, uh, you know, the government did not see it coming, or was a bit lax? Yes, it it is it is there. It is there. They they are not uh, doing this sincerely for that particularly. This problem arises again, Did I hear the word but after PG? that uh, they can make an agreement. One year back, with the Tripura government, government of India, and uh, the Miju people, they will settle here in Tripura. But it is a tri uh, pro problem for Tripura government and Tripura people also. As you see, thirty to thirty-five thousand family are. Uh, mm, Yes, yeah. Pradyut Debarman wants to uh, make state. a point. We'll come to you in 30 seconds, uh, Mr. Debarman. Navarun, yes, I, yes, Pradyut Debarman, go ahead. Yeah, but did, go ahead. Uh, the Honorable Member from the Communist Party call our young people refugees? Uh, I'm sure he didn't mean it. I'm sure he didn't mean did it. Did he call our young people refugees? No, no, no. What do you mean not mean it? Where, how dare you call an Indian a refugee? How dare you call an indigenous person of Northeast a refugee? Tripura has a, had, had the history of accommodating all the displaced people from Bangladesh to the, our soil. We have kept them there. And today in our own land, they will call us refugee. Either you take their word back 
or we will, this is unacceptable. How dare you call an Indian a refugee? Absolutely. I, I refuse to take such, I will take part in such debate where an Indian, an indigenous person, an indigenous person from Northeast, a Ryang, is called a refugee. And the people we have accommodated, my ancestors have accommodated them in Tripura, and they are calling our people refugees. What is the legal definition of refugee in the Constitution of India? Absolutely. Point this taken. Is, this is, I mean, how dare they say something like this? No, the Communist Party will have to pay the price for calling the indigenous people of Northeast, the indigenous people, our blue brothers and sisters, refugees. We will see who are the refugees. Either the Communist Party takes that word away or we will protest. This is unacceptable. This is 2020. We know what happened in Dumbur. We know how our young people, our Jamatya people were displaced. Mewar himself is testimony to that. Absolutely. 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 Uh, we, we, are, we are again uh, going back to, do, uh, to, doc to Dr. Pachau here. Uh, Dr. Pachau, Dr. Pachau uh, again, uh, you said that initially the protests have been peaceful, but don't you think it is also very important, Dr. Pachau, to maintain peace and communal harmony? Even during protests, there is no scope for violence whatsoever. Yes, that's right, because the recent protests that had uh, resulted in the loss of two priests' lives uh, was very unfortunate, and as a chairman of the Joint Movement Committee, uh, I would like to express my deepest uh, condolence and grief over the loss of these two lives. So that's what was never the intention of the movement, but sometimes, uh, somewhere, there's some provocation coming in, some hate, hate speech, uh, and even before this incident, there was some kind of uh, uh, violent actions uh, coming from the community. So, and also some leaders uh, utilizing this uh, issue on, as, as political advantage and also to gain their personal uh, ambitions. Uh, they are just communalizing uh, and also uh, hijacking the issue, the main issue, uh, and that also all contributes to that uh, kind of uh, retaliatory uh, actions from our peaceful protester, which I do not even justify, but you know, if you are provoked, uh, sometimes things go un uncontrolled. But all in all, all these actions, we are uh, again our stand is we are condemn all these kind of violent actions. And I hope that uh, with uh, the current uh, situation we are in, that uh, some concrete uh, talks and negotiations going with the government, such kind of uh, uh, demonstration that can lead to violent behavior behavior can be protected and prevented in the future. So we condemn it and it, uh, and, and it is never good for a piece of Tripura. And also leaders, political leadership also should, uh, should avoid using communal issues uh, to, to gain vote banks. Uh, because if this is Tripura where multitudes of tribes and ethnic identities are staying, we must, as leaders, we must always so restrain uh, and also, yeah, that, that's, our, that's our duty. Um, yeah. mm. Mr. Mewar Kumar Jamatia, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, I was just uh, talking with Dr. Pachao on the violence part, I'm sure the government also must have made it very clear that there can be no room for violence, there can be no room for law and order issues uh, as far as this is concerned, uh, as whatever happened on Saturday last uh, was, was very unfortunate and there can be no repeat of such incidents. Unfortunate. That is, uh, I'm very unfortunate. Whatever it happened is unfortunate, but uh, our government is very, uh, we have already taken decision. Whoever involved in this incident, the, whoever uh, in, took place in the incident, whoever may be, maybe tribal, non tribal, whatever it may be, we will try to take action. And the government is now already uh, planning to, uh, to find out some solution. The law will tell everything because any people cannot disturb the law because law will tell that some violation take place which we have, have seen. Maybe whoever it, it may be involved in the, maybe in the police, maybe in the public, whoever involved in this incident will be examined. We have already given the order, the initial order is given, and it will be carefully examined, and the culprit will be punished. That is what our, our government stand, whoever it is. So that is what our, our standpoint, 
And again, I appeal to the people of the border communities, maybe Burudiang, and Mizu, and the Bengali, all those two, because see, people have a history, long history. We have to live together. We cannot sideline any, any community here. And it is a history of, see, Kanchampur is a long history, you know. The Kanchampur Devi have given land. There are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of family. Kanchampur is very peaceful, actually. Peaceful area. And therefore, we have to maintain the tradition, we have to maintain the culture. And as a minister of Trial Fair and uh, Forest Minister, I appeal to all the people to maintain peace and calm and to respect the law. Pradyut Deberman, Pradyut Deberman, you have been consistently following up on the issue of rural resettlement uh, from the very beginning, in fact. You have yourself uh, have uh, visited Delhi numerous times, met the Union Home Minister Amit Shah over the issue, present in all discussions. Uh, what will, of course, even recently, uh, as, as recently as uh, last week, of, uh, there was also a visit of a central team. You attended the meeting in Agartala, if I am not mistaken, and uh, the process was supposed to start in the next 15 days, then this happens. What is the way forward? Uh, what, what next? Navarun, two things. Please, if you give me one minute. Yeah. First, there is no denying the fact that the law and order should have been handled much, much better by the state government and this violence and the death of Biswajit Dev Barma, the death, the murder of Biswajit Dev Barma, we would l want action to be taken against the people who murdered him in cold blood. There is a video circulating in the uh, thing. There are people whose faces can be seen. And those people who are murderers of Bishwajit Dev Barma should be jailed and should be convicted. That is number point one. Number two, let me give a context because your TV channel is not only in one state, it's across the Northeast. It's also heard, uh, watched by a lot of people who are from the Northeast in different parts of the world. Kanchanpur, the name Kanchanpur came into existence when my grandmother, my father's own mother, accommodated people who were displaced Hindus from Bangladesh and gave them land, specifically the Swasti Committee in the 1950. Now, in the same place where my grandmother, that's why it's named Kanchanpur after Kanchan Prabha Devi, the Rajmata mm -hmm. of Tripura. Mm -hmm. Today, in the same Kanchanpur area, when the indigenous people are told in their own homeland that you are not allowed to settle here, it does not only hurt the sentiment of only the Riyang people, it hurts the sentiment of every indigenous person in Tripura who feels why were we given the same option when people had come out from another country and accommodated, did they take permission from us to settle in our land? No, nobody took permission. Today, we are told to take permission from civil societies when the government of India has given us commitment. Having said that, we don't want any conflict with anybody, be it the Bengalis, be it the Mizos, be it any community. We want to live in peace. There is enough that we can do to build a civil society which is healthy. But if political activists and political people are playing a mischievous game and trying to polarize two communities or three communities in this way, then there will be a problem. I am going to go and tell Amit Shah that you have given a commitment to the people of, uh, the government of India has given a commitment and the government of India's commitment has to be honored. Last point, uh, 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 my honorable former colleague Pijush Biswas had said that the government of India never took uh, all the parties' uh, consensus before, stakeholders uh, before coming to a decision. Pijush Babu knows this very well, like I do. Did the government of India take any consensus before they passed the Citizenship Amendment Act last year? No, they did not. And the same people who are criticizing the government of India today were the same people bursting crackers in Kanchanpur area when Citizenship Amendment Act was passed. So that clearly proves who are the indigenous people and who are people who have sympathy to another country. Well, if I can go back to Dr. Pachau here. Uh, well, uh, you had a meeting, a delegation had a meeting with the Chief Minister, the Deputy Chief Minister last evening. Uh, what were your demands and what were the government's assurances? Yes, 
Our demands uh, still remain the same, and it is all in black and white in paper, and they have got copies, copies of memorandums that have been submitted, and that's our stand always, which I don't have to disclose it in detail, so it's better not to disclose it in detail, they know it. And yesterday's talk was fruitful, and there was Honorable Chief Minister in the meeting, the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, and uh, Honorable Law Minister, Honorable Tourism Minister, and our, one of our local MNS is there, who was the government mediator. And some um, political party leaders were also there who support our movement. So I think we are now on the right track to sorting out this problem. And we are saying that uh, all stakeholders' uh, concern must be taken into consideration. And also all stakeholders must be taken into confidence as we are uh, sorting this settlement issue. And having said that, all stakeholders means the Buru community, the Mizoram community, the Bengali community, and even the government. Uh, it has to be transparent and and uh, and also a, co a collective decision. So I think uh, we are all ready for that, and I hope the government, if necessary, will convene all stakeholders meeting to come to an agreement where it is acceptable to every party. This settlement should be successful, and it can be only successful if all stakeholders are taken into confidence and their views are considered seriously. Uh Mr. Pijushkanti Biswas, uh, while uh, the, the, the JMC feels its concerns are genuine, uh, and, and, but it is important, it is, it, it is more important or equally important, if not less, to find suitable places for resettlement of uh, the bruise, uh, the government, the state government definitely has a task at hand. The Tripura government has a task cut out. And most importantly, there is no room for law and order situations. There is no room for violence. Everyone needs to cooperate. Everyone needs to cooperate. What is your suggestion, uh, to your call to all the groups? What is the way forward? My suggestion is that these are large number of um, uh, uh, displaced persons. Government first should have find places where these people should be rehabilitated. These, these people should, as because demand has been raised that these people should not be rehabilitated in one or two places. They should find out the places and before taking that decision, they should have taken into confidence of the residents of that area. These people, government has decided it is the duty of the government to re rehabilitate them. So they should have taken confidence, the citizens, residences of the respective areas. Government first should have find out a place, uh, uh, separate places. They are not discussing anything with anybody. They are doing, keeping all concerned uh, parties in dark. Now they are they blaming Congress or others. Member Gubat Jamadiya, how he can say that Congress is instigating? Congress has openly come out that government still there is a time government should have called should call all the stakeholders stakeholders in discussion and they should take the decision keep taking into confidence everybody. Otherwise, there will be a serious disruption of law and order that has already been taken place. And that is only this incident took place because of peculiar lack of competence. They are not competent to run the administration. It is not for the first time. I am I'm telling you, this BJP government, they are leading, but they are not competent to run the government. It is due to their idiotic decision. Okay, let's not, let's not again get into full-fledged Congress, to, BJP to politics extent. here. Uh, we are also running out of time. Uh, Pradyut De Burman, last words from you. Uh, what should be the approach? Should the center be also observing all this? Do you call for center's intervention at this moment, at this juncture? Because probably we cannot afford much more delay as far as uh, settling the brew migrants are concerned. No, I think uh, the brews have waited for 23 years. They uh, are willing to wait, provided the commitment which was given in the floor of the parliament has to be honoured. Second thing, the less politics we bring into this, 
the less we involve uh, political uh, activity and the more we do to rehabilitate humans. Let's not forget that a lot of our brews and jamatiyas were displaced when the Dumbur Dam took place. Dumbur Dam, which started in 1974, displaced thousands and thousands of indigenous people. And today, a lot of them, and because of jhum cultivation, they have actually crossed over to Mizoram. Traditionally, historically, the brew people, in fact, a lot of the erstwhile queens were uh, Ryangs. So there is no way of telling them that they are not part of Tripura's history. I think the government of India should, uh, uh, should make it very clear that there should be a timeline, time frame. And yes, uh, I think uh, if anybody has any uh, uh, fear that they, uh, like let's say in Zampui, uh, uh, there is a fear amongst uh, the Mizos that uh, a lot more brews will be settled there and there will be conflict. Dr. Pachao is there. We haven't spoken for a very long time. Uh, but I will tell you something, Dr. Pachao, through your channel that uh, my intention is never to create a conflict between uh, Mizo brothers and uh, Tripuri brothers and sisters. The fact is, there are people who you are aligning with, who actually have that agenda. We should sit across the table and uh, discuss this, thrash it out. The more we bring this into a political spectrum and tamasha and coming to the road, there will be criminal elements who will try to hijack this agenda. And the real issue is peaceful coexistence of all people in Tripura, that will never happen if there are political interests whose entire aim is to polarize the situation and win elections. Point taken. Uh, we have been trying to we have been trying to connect uh, Mr. Papitrakor once again. I'm sure he would have uh, he would have had his answers ready. But let's not get into it. Uh, we could not uh, reconnect uh, Mr. Papitrakor on this. But uh, let's let's we are completely running out of time. Let's hope that this gets resolved sooner than later. And of course, there can be no repeat of violence uh, as far as the issue is concerned. Uh, and and as, as almost all of our panelists would have agreed uh, that there has to be a peaceful solution. Uh, Tripura uh, has been home uh, to, to, to a number of uh, communities and tribes and uh, peace is the only way out. That's a wrap.